This is the time and this is the season that God is revealing himself to his people. And those that have had a mask on, like the one that I'm wearing today, it's time to take off that mask. It's time to allow the Lord to move and work in your life. You know, the truth, the truth from the inward parts is what helps us to take off this mask. But when the mask is on, there are things that are hidden in our lives. There are secret things that should not be there. But as we take it off, and the truth is revealed to us through the Word of God, then the light comes in. Jesus Christ said, I am the light of the world. And then He turned to His disciples and He said, You are the light of the world. It is the light that manifests the darkness in Ephesians chapter 5. Let's start with verse 8. It says, For you were once darkness, once you had a mask on. You were not revealing everything about yourself. You were hiding those things that you were ashamed of or those things that you didn't want to get rid of. But it says here that, that now we are light. And now you are in the light of the Lord. Live as children of the light. Take off the mask. And let God begin to reveal himself in you and through you. It says, for the fruit of, of the light consists in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. Find out what is pleasing unto the Lord. You know, as we go to the Word of God, in the book of Genesis, this is where the masquerade started. Because in Genesis chapter 3, Adam and Eve, the serpent comes to them, and they begin to disobey. They get into disobedience. And the Lord comes down, the God comes down to fellowship with them. And, and he says, Adam, where are you? He calls to him. He wants to talk to him. He wants to fellowship with him. But Adam says, I was ashamed. I was afraid. And so I hid myself. I hid myself. As we take off our mask, God begins to penetrate our spirit, our soul, our mind, our bodies with His light. So that no longer do we have to do things in secret. See, God sees all. Whether we have a mask on or whether it's off, God sees all. And so He told Adam, you know, who told you that you were naked? Adam and Eve got over into the natural. And when a person has a mask on, that's where they are. They're in the natural realm. They think that if they hide these things, that no one else can see them. They're hiding behind a mask. You know, in Genesis... Chapter 27, we see, <coughs> excuse me, we see a story of a great masquerade. This is between Jacob, his mother Rebecca, and their father, his father. And what happens is, that Jacob puts on a mask. He puts on clothing so that when his father uh, touches his arm, it will feel hairy and fuzzy uh, like Esau. Esau was a hairy man. And so Jacob, who his name means supplanter 
our deceiver. And that's what we do when we put on a mask. We are in deception. And that's where Jacob was. He was deceiving his father who gave him the blessing. Now in chapter 28, God deals with Jacob. He gives him a dream and he shows him heaven. He gives him a dream and he sees angels ascending and descending. We know the story of Jacob's ladder. But what was that all about? See, Jacob had put on a mask and had deceived his father into giving him the blessing. In chapter 28, we see him take off the mask. We see him humble before the Lord. And then God changed his name. No longer did he have a mask on. And no longer was he trying to deceive himself and others. But he had taken off the mask because of the truth. Because of the light. Because he saw into the supernatural realm. You know, when we're taking off the mask, we have to remember that repentance is a big part of taking off that mask. As we repent and receive God's goodness and receive His forgiveness, then we can lay aside the mask. It's time to be transparent. It's time to let others see the truth on the inside of us. You know, Isaiah 58, which is our foundational scripture for this ministry, is this not the path that I have chosen? And part of those scriptures in chapter verse 7, it says, Do not hide yourself from your own flesh. Come out of that deception. And repentance brings us to that point where we want to take, no longer do we want to wear that mask of deception and secrecy and the hidden things of darkness, but we want to take it off. And we want to have fellowship with the Lord. You know, in 1 John it says, if you walk in the light as He is in the light, you will have fellowship with Him. And that's what He wants. People of God, this is what He wants. He wants the mask off. He wants all of the hidden things of darkness expelled by the light. The more light in you, the more you do not have to wear a mask any longer. But you can remove it through repentance and through receiving the truth that's in the Word of God. This message is a timely message that those things that are hidden in Ephesians chapter 5 it says the fruitful deeds of darkness but rather expose them he says but, the, but everything exposed by the light becomes visible and everything that is illuminated becomes light all I see is light if my eye be single, it's going to be full of light. No longer will I have a need to wear a mask and masquerade. But I'm going to be who God has called me to be. He is encouraging you today to be who He has called you to be. To let others see who you are in Christ Jesus. Be not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I pray for you today that if you have a mask on, that you will take it off. That you will allow the Holy Spirit to move and work and bring you into the truth and bring you into the light. This day, this day, no longer do you have to wear the mask, but you can take it off. And you can be 
who God wants you to be. I speak courage to you in order to take off this mask. I speak that a gift of repentance will come to all of those that are viewing that you've had a mask on. You've had secret places in your life. And you want God to reveal those so that you can repent and turn to the light. If you've never accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, take off the mask of sin and come to the light. Just say, Jesus, I believe you're the Son of God. That you're my Savior, my Lord. Everyone who calls upon the name of Jesus shall be saved. Do it today. Lay down the mask. I pray for those that are sick, that you be healed in Jesus' name. That pain and discomfort will leave your body right now. That no longer will there be a mask of illness or sickness in your body. In the name of Jesus. I speak over those that are addicted today to drugs and alcohol. That the mask of, of addiction will come off of you today in Jesus' name. That you will be delivered and set free from any darkness that you might be in. And that the mask no longer will be there. I love you with the love of the Lord. I appreciate your viewing today. And may God bless you richly this day. And always, thank you.